So the customer has music playing in the attic, which a lot of people try making noise up in the attic to thinking it will make the raccoon move out, but this mom's happy living in this attic. So the music playing did not affect her in any way, but we will unplug this now and head up to find the babies. We'll push this attic up on the couch. Grab the radio. Holy insulation. So that's our corner. You could. <laughs> this is insane. Look how deep this is. It's good to have a lot of insulation, but this is extreme. Yeah, a well insulated home. Raccoon really probably loves it. Crazy. And that bottom corner down there. I see them, but not mum. It's a cool little video seeing him move around. Yeah, no, it's, we rarely get that. We are in a very tight space here. There's no way we could react quickly if mother came up and wanted to charge at us. We're sitting ducks. Grabbers. Come bring the baby. Over here. That's number, number one. I can't really show you. Um, I'll open this one up. See? Number two. I'll put it in the bag. In the bag with his sibling. Which one number three? Looks like there's four. Number four. Very cool. Um, I need one more. Last but not least. That's my buddy. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. The bed. And I'll just clear that space. Make sure we got the little. Okay. You can see how she chose an area void of the cellulose, dusty insulation, and went directly to where there was pink, pink insulation. To film each other. So she says. <laughs> Come over here and film me. It's not that bad. Oh, try crawling over all this insulation with your knees on the beam. And I'm not a 27 year old female. I'm a little uncomfortable. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, jeez. This is nuts. Oh, I gotta do it for this. <laughs> Can I get a shot of you with a baby in your hand? Yeah. Oh, happy to be back here. The babies in our baby bag. I'll just close yep. the attic hatch. How many do you have? There are four, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I can show you one if you'd like. Just straighten that out a bit on that side. And, 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 and the mother okay. is not there yet. I didn't see her, but she probably ran into the soffit when I went up. Oh. She was probably scared when she heard the noise. Okay, okay. But we will go up on the roof, then we'll get her up to Here. Okay. Can you show her a baby? Would you like to see a baby? I can show you one. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh, so cute, they are cute. What are they doing? They're noisy, yeah. but they are really cute. Yeah, so I think there's four of them. Oh, don't touch it. Oh, they're a little dirty. They're covered in insulation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's four of them in there. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, br <laughs> we'll bring them outside. We got them all. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, so, this came up from the attic. We got the babies. We'll put all our tools back. Take off our masks. And then go up to the roof. Maybe some mom will come out. We had success to our other job, so it's possible she will, but if not, that one way door will be installed on the roof then, and the babies will be left in the treated box for her. So we'll go see what's going to happen. Baby box, and all our equipment's up here. is getting in over here. This is a roof end. She just took off the lid and she's just going through these plastic pieces to get in. Our next step is to remove this vent so that we can get the one-way door flat to the roof. So we're just, this will go back on once the mother raccoon is out. But right now we're just taking the nails up, getting this vent to release. That was easy. And the one-way door is going to go right over top of this hole, so later when she feels comfortable, she'll come out through our one-way door, won't be able to get back in. We will screen the rest of the roof fence, because there are four up here, I believe. Yeah, four total. And the babies will be waiting for her right beside, so that she can collect them once she comes out. These are the box screens that we put on top of the roof fence, so that a raccoon cannot break in the way she did on the entry hole. And all we do is secure it with screws and washers. This keeps it tight to the roof, and a raccoon or a squirrel won't be able to get in through the roof fence after these are installed. These are pretty much a requirement when a raccoon has gotten in through a roof to screen these because otherwise she'll just come back and break back in the next night through these if they weren't screened. Okay, so now it's tight, you can't get in, and we'll screen, as you can see, we screen the rest of them. The last step is to make it watertight with our caulk. This ensures that there's no leaking through where we put the screws and washers. We just put some on the top here to attach it. And we make sure all the screws are covered with our caulk. It's time to set up our baby box. Like always, we will attach it to the roof to ensure it doesn't slide when the mom comes to investigate it and she probably will go inside to get her babies so we just attach it here the one-way door is right in front of the box so when she comes out she will be able to reach or see the box see her babies and it can't be missed so let's do the second screw on the other side and we will open up the box to put the babies inside so we have our sweater Flatten that out for them. And we'll put them inside. So here's baby number one. Her eyes are closed like all the others. She's calling for mom. Number two. You've got some insulation on you. That one's noisy. And the last baby. Coming out of the bag. That's okay. There you go. 
We'll turn on the heating pad so they're warm. And these guys are over a week old. The oldest ones we've had so yeah. far. Yeah. They are pretty big. We're back to check on the babies in our box from last night. Let's go see what happened. Okay. I'll email you a copy of it. Okay, we'll head up and see if the mom took all her babies. 